Hey everybody, this is Kevin here with another tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to create a linear text. And as an addition, uh, I'll throw in a lens flare that's in the center of the screen. It looks pretty cool. It's got a nice color to it and it reminds me a little bit of the Dark Knight. So, let's see. Alright, so I use After Effects CS4. It's excellent. All the After Effects programs are excellent. So let's get down to work. As you can see, the title is quite nice right there. It's very simple to do too, but hey, I'll make a tutorial. So you're going to create a new comp. Go to New Composition. Let's see. You're going to go to Layer, Create New Solid. Black, black will work fine here for the black background. Which will be excellent. Next, you're just going to insert the text by clicking the text tool. It's at toolbar and type in, well, I'm going to just say from the director of. Make the font a little smaller because this one's not the focus of the video, but it still has to be there, you know. I'm very anal about this sort of thing, so the boxes have to be smaller. So try to get that towards the center, but not completely towards the center. It has to be at least like a little above the center. That way we have space in between that and then the next title and where we'll put the lens flare. So, center that out until it's nice and perfect or however the hell you want to do it really. You're gonna go to, to another text. You're gonna insert it and well you want to change the font color of the director of make it a little bit more white. That was not completely gray looking. So, next you're gonna insert another text tool and with that tool, you will uh, write The Dark Knight. I just did this because at first it was an attempt to make an Inception title, but I got bored of that, so I decided to make a simpler version, which would be just a gradient text tool in After Effects, because people like the man Batman, shout out to you bats, uh, they use that type of font in his videos and on his background. Definitely subscribe to him, he's got some excellent videos, and Witch Star Watch Chapter 3 just ended which I'm waiting for that finale video, so try to get that soon. So, the Dark Knight text should be around center, make it a lot larger than the director of, and also change the uh, height of the text, which is the right side of the toolbar, to change it to 114%. Next, next you're gonna go to layer. You're gonna go to layer styles, and then you're gonna insert, gra uh, then you're gonna insert gradient overlay. See that? It'll look dark on top now and it's got a little shadows behind it, which looks really cool, in my opinion. Uh, so we're gonna change that bit. And instead of reversing it, like I like to do that at times, but it depends on the type of font, we're just gonna change the angle of it a little bit. Not too much, but as you can see, I gotta like you got to type it in, or you get too big or too small of a change. 86 doesn't look like it's gonna do, it's a little too low. So we're gonna change that a little bit. 87's not doing much either. Let's just see. Yeah, that looks, oh, that's better. A little bit more than what we started with, but I'll change that a bit to make it look a little lighter. See that? Change the scale percentage a little higher. I have it about 118%. And that gives it a shadow, but it's still nice and clean on top. I like it. Hopefully you do too. Next. We're going to go to the director of and do the same thing again. Uh, we're going to go to layer, layer styles, uh, green overlay. And you're going to again change that, but I think we'll use the reverse tool on this one. Yeah, uh, I'm liking that, but let's see. Let's change the scale of it to 150%. That way it's dark on bottom. Okay, 115. And then the offset, change that as well. I have that about 14, which gives it a nice dark shadow on it, as you can see from the video. All right, I'm liking that. And that is pretty much it. All right, that's my tutorial, guys. I really hope this helps you out if you use After Effects. And if you have any requests, please feel free to send them. I will try to get to them as soon as possible. I guess it's until next time, which will probably be this Sunday, hopefully with a Harry Potter title tutorial. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to comment. Please subscribe. Until next time, guys. 
time for Marketbook Tutorials, and I'll see you later. Thanks.